Welcome back to Super Metroid. Yes, yes. Uh, I have a funny feeling we're just collecting items today. So it's a lot, lot of uh, great memories and great feelings and great vibes here in Super Metroid. Mm. Hey, t t tell you what. Mm. There's, there's one sound, though, I want you to get very familiar with, though, Niskel. Da 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 It is this! Da 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 Yeah. You're gonna be getting a lot of that today. Oh, good. Because there's a lot of uh, things to collect today. Yeah, I figured after getting the gravity suit, we can pretty much go wherever we want. We're only missing, what, two key items, I think? Yeah, and... Maybe three? But yeah, three. A, a lot of these we can still slice through, though. There's a second missile I'll tell you about. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, you! Can't hide from me! Get out of here! It's okay. I'm good with missiles. I mean, I'm just an emporium I'm of so missiles. I'm something of an expert, you know. I'm <laughs> so... As a matter of fact... Oh, I, I don't think I ever wanted to envision Samus as a well-actually type of person. Uh, S Samus Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Let me speak to your manager, Craig. <laughs> so, uh, this is the Sequence Broke Super Missile that lets you skip Spore Spawn, by the way. That's all it takes, is just that one. And all you gotta but do is a little mock ball. You gotta pass through that, which might be a little tough, but... Yes. Uh, that's, that's a bit beyond my, uh, my level of skill, I'm afraid. That's okay. I mean, neither of us are speedrunners, I just know the tech. I know, right. It's, it's so dark. I'm going the wrong way, I think. Wait, what did... Yeah, not this way. Not this way. Ignore me! Wrong way! Why don't we go in there, though? Just a recharge room. That was a recharge room? Or was it on the other side? It, it would have led to a recharge room. Uh, okay. We gotta get all the way down here. We gotta go all the way over here. What's in here, UDJ? Fun stuff. Oh, terrible, they're terrible enemies. Kill them all. Why do they grab on you? They're like, are they like... Metroids? They're parasites. Why the hell did I live here? <laughs> That's what I've been wondering the entire time. All right, watch okay. for the fake floor. Got it. This right. All right. Okay. Okay. Fake floor. No. Fuck. I should jump at the wrong time. God damn it. God. Damn. Well, we could go all the way back, or we could just rewind. You and that rewind. Wow, it's it's just so handy. So handy. <laughs> so handy. <laughs> By the way, how's Super Mario RPG? <laughs> oh, it was great. I mean, we played it, but, you know. That's true. Okay, Years ago. There we go. All right. Here we go. Here we go. And... Da-da-da! Aha! Yeah! Got that energy tank. Running start, short hop. There you go. And your added bonus for uh, getting this energy tank is... <gasps> Another super missile! A super missile. Cool. A quite super missile. Like, how super is it? Like, I don't see a cape on that missile. Like, you fire it and you go, whoa. That's pretty super. Like, maybe you put that missile on your, you know, 10 page paper, <laughs> and then your professor just goes, super! Yeah, I'll save. <laughs> this part could be. Th th this part could take some time. If I don't do it right. I'm trying to think of where you are. Hmm. Uh, 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 this part can be a little mean, yeah. Jeez. It's not so much that, you know, using a bomb destroys them. It has to be hit with a bomb. Or, you know, a missile to the face. That see, works too. See, I told you, little missile pack, I am great with missiles. I am I am a fruit. I am frugal with missiles. Except for bosses. Because oh, just unload them. That's what I save them for. How many bosses are there? Fucking seven. It's quite a few. Seven bosses. It's not bad, actually. How many does Metroid Dread have? Like three? <laughs> well, three that I remember anyway. Oh no, way more than that. Hey, it's the place where you learn how to wall jump. I call this the wall jump test. All right, go for it. If you've done any bit of spirit of a uh, spirit, <laughs> it, it is spirit breaking. If you've done any bit of sequence breaking, you've done your fair share of wall jumping, and this room will teach you two things. 
first thing that it teaches you is to wall jump. Uh-huh. I mentioned this a little bit last episode, but you basically gotta roll towards the wall and then press the opposite direction at the right angle, at the, at the right time, mm -hmm. and then jump. And then she'll jump. For this one, you basically gotta get a running start, jump over there, and then morph ball to get in there to get a power ball. You know, I, actu I actually thought we were going to be in here a lot longer. I'm sorry I doubted you. Yeah, exactly, because I'm perfect. I'm great. I'm great, Super Metroid. I'm getting all this. Look at you. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Let's see, episode Champ four. Uh, now let's go back. We would already be out of here. Back? Oh, oh you got, mean got, to, like, to wall jump. I got you, I got you. Right, right, right there. there we go. Good job. Well, now I I expect to see you just flying through the rest of this game. And now in Samus Returns and Metroid Dread, it's easy to do <laughs> back uh, wall jumps. Although it's really cool, in Fusion, there is wall jumping, and the game kind of expects you to do it for 100%. At no point are you required to do wall jumping, at no point does the game tell you how to do it. But if you know, hmm. then you do. And if you do, then you do. You need to know what to get into my club. It's my special Metroid Fusion club. You gotta be in the know, you know? You see that Samus chick? She knows what's up. And I know where this place is. Do you? It's always one of my favorite rooms. I might be saying that a lot because my memory's all over the place. You don't even know where we're going. Well, no, you definitely could have gone back there. But no, I don't know where you're going. Hopefully to this missile pack. Doo -doo. Boom. There's another room around here somewhere. You can see with the x-ray. Oh, actually, I, I can see it right now, actually. Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah, I do see it. There it is. You don't you see it? You don't see it? Do you see it? There right it is, there, right there. Right there. The place that looks slightly different. It leads to a, just a hallway, really. Uh, with big hurdy bugs. Please kill the big hurdy bugs. Now, this is, uh, this is another secret. I don't remember what for, though, but hey, I see a thing. You see a thing? Yeah. What, this thing? A difference in the floor. It's a super missile block. It leads to a power bomb. Nice. And now we're going to use that power bomb to get all the way back up. Actually, I think we just... No, we don't need to. Oh, just a regular bomb, probably. Got these little uh, yep. gates in here. These little... Yeah. Then boom. Do you think Samus is ever scared that she might actually accidentally be thrown away as trash when in Morph Ball? I don't think so. I think she's more uh, scared of getting mistaken for a different kind of ball. Like a basketball or a volleyball or something. Volleyball, I think, would be very painful to everybody involved. Ow! Ow! Painful to Sam's because she's getting, you know, you know, spiked and, you know, bumped around. But imagine, getting ready for a volleyball stance. You're about to, about to bump back up to the net. And here comes this, you know, 70-pound sphere coming your way. Pfft, ah! Oh, my forearms are broken! Do you think her weight adds to the morph ball weight? Or does she somehow compact herself so much that she loses pounds? I had a revelation the other day. What was that? So, those Chojo statues. Uh -huh. You see how they sit, right? They kind of, you know, on, on, their, on their butt. Okay, kind of mm -hmm. like this with their arms like that. I want to think that that is roughly how they achieve the morph ball form. Well, just slowly lose the ability to have legs and just cur curl up into a ball. Yeah, I, I think that has something to do with it. The way that they're positioned there, because you see it a lot in, you know, Chozo lore and the, and the statues when they stand up, especially in this game. But uh, I think I think that is the the beginning position to get into Morph Ball territory. Well, you know what the Chozo are based off, right? Birds. Oh, not just any bird, my friend. You know, I did a, little, did a little digging, and I found out they are actually based on... Birds. A hedgehog bird. A bird that can actually roll up into a ball, like a hedgehog. Well, there you go. So glad you didn't fact-check me, otherwise you would have called me a lying sack of shit. We don't we didn't know about the hedgehog bird? <laughs> it's a great bird. Everyone should try to find one. You can mistake it as Shaman from Pokemon. I mean, it's not fake like a secretary bird. Yeah, that sounds dumb. <laughs> it's a bird that looks like it has glasses on, and it looks like it'll transfer your calls. Oh yeah, and the the office worker dog. <laughs> it's a dog in a suit. <laughs> the bureaucrat bunny. <laughs> 
it files everything in triplicate. Alright, this one might be complicated if you don't know how to wall jump, but this one's pretty easy. Just kind of hit and mm -hmm. you gotta... There you go. There, alright. Oh, yes. And this is where we go around! Oh, no! Why can't you grab grip? Grip, grab, fucking grip, get the grip, 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 get the ledge! Come on, Samus, why doesn't Metroid grab onto ledges? Wait a minute, you you could have oh. just wall jumped up there. I could have. Yeah. Could have, but I didn't. I, I noticed. You, okay, I kind of see what's what's going on. So the wall jump is somewhat borked in this game because it's the first of its kind. If you just, like, face plant onto the wall, wall jumping is harder than going at an angle. There we go. I mean, there was wall jumping in uh, Metroid, in the original Metroid. But what? in terms of jumping, it's really you gotta go into the wall and you jump between screens to... to uh, I don't know if I count that. God. Just like, chicken out, running a marathon, and he just falls flat in his face and starts running. <laughs> T technically, yeah, but... Hmm. Metroid Quap. <laughs> Do, 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 oh. do, 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 How can you play Metroid with co-op controls? You don't. That's the point. It's like, get the beam, all right! <laughs> <laughs> Flailing arm, inflatable tube man! <laughs> so how far did you get in Metroid co-op? Well, how is uh, three seconds sound? Oh, that's better than my record. I got all the way to the morph ball. Bro. That's like three hours in. How on earth did you? It took me five. <laughs> <laughs> so, many, yep. so many resets. Hey, good job. There's a missile pack right there, and are we going up one more level? I see some blue. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Where will UDJ go next? Find out in the next exciting episode of Super Metroid. Yes. Airing right now. Right in your face. Yeah. See, this is a 90s game. We need to make 90s commercials for this. I was, I was gonna say, like, 90s references. And I'd be like, come on, Chandler! <laughs> it's gonna be so tubular, man! Buy Super Metroid! Hang on, let me take a drink of my tab soda. Uh, we just turn into the Let's Play equivalent of Wayne's World. Tab soda was big in the day. What is tab soda? Diet cola. That's it? Cool diet cola! Oh, it's the one that everybody likes. By the way, it's, we're back where we got the Morph Ball. It's literally just a trendy fucking diet soda. Trans surfing! <laughs> yeah! yeah! Because, you know, Diet Coke was, you know, it's, it's Coke, it's rigid, but, you know, with Tab, you can be fun, free, fancy. <laughs> fun and fancy free. Nobody drinks Tab anymore. Isn't it extinct? I mean, yeah, you can totally find Tab, if, but you can barely find it. If it's not extinct, it almost is. Endangered. Ooh, let's see your Shine Spark abilities. How good are you at Shine Sparking? It's okay. Right there. But it's just... Uh, Boom. Yeah, there we go. Good job! First try! Wasn't too bad. Nobody could put baby UDJ in the corner. <sighs> this I, one! I am my own corner. <laughs> All right, I have to do this, uh... You right, have... Yeah. There it is! Aha. The invisible area. Okay, yep. There, there you go. go. And there we go. Falling rocks? Really? Now that one is... Barely doable without the gravity suit. You kind of have to wall jump off the ledge underneath the door in order to get up there. I hate when the game does this. <laughs> Just has a second missile somewhere. You'll never know if you've gotten it or not. Yeah. Because that's not the way the map works in this game. God, you, you just see a dot, and that could either mean that there's something there mm -hmm. or something was there. You'll, yeah. you'll, you'll never know. With uh, the other Metroid games, you can. Kids in the 90s had a lot of free time, either that or Nintendo Power, to where they could just go into a room, x-ray scope. Go into another room, you know, x-ray scope. I think, I think our video games Ooh. need to be meaner to us. Nowadays? Yes. Some of them can be pretty mean. They need to be meaner. I don't mean mean like taking your money and, you know, charging you for, you know, like, uh, time savers or whatever. I'm talking like... Like, I, I, I am talking to Dark Souls. Make it hard. 
be very, very stubborn about your difficulty and never change on it, never waver from it. We need, we need more of that because back then, in this time, this, this is what games did, right? There was also no internet. Games used to be, yeah. So we had no internet. They were stupid hard. You had no way of knowing if they were good or not, except if you had a, a magazine subscription. There's like a whole bunch, and some of them were biased against other games, and some of them weren't. <laughs> But we had all this ridiculous bullshit. We had to pay for expensive cartridges that are way that are just about as expensive as they are nowadays with yeah, the PS5 that's and Series X. Unfortunately, we didn't have internet to know if they were any good or not. We just had to trust our gut. And you know, if you played and if you played were, it at the friend's house, they were cryptic and difficult to play. But we loved them, and it was a happy time. This is a golden age for video games. Nowadays, graphics are better than ever. Games are easier than ever. They're easier to pick up and play than ever. Then why is the gaming world so angry? Because everybody has a voice. Some people need to shut the fuck up. Yes, they do. Did you hear about the monkey paw effect that happened recently? No, was uh, did Jordan Peele make a game? No. <sighs> Diamond and Pearl. Oh, what now? What now with that fucking game? We want a remake with nothing changed. Cool, they did it. We- why didn't you put in any changes? And now everybody's bitching that Diamond and Pearl is exactly like Diamond and Pearl, the thing they asked for. So that's why you gotta be meaner. <laughs> you gotta be like a mean stepfather of these fucking gamers sometimes. These entitled fucking gamers like, I want it to be like the old game! No, it's too much like the old game! You need a kid whipped in the face, belted in the ass, and shoved into a Pokemon game that actually challenges you for once. <laughs> you know Legends Arceus isn't gonna kick their ass. It'll be challenging, I bet. It's, it's gonna be Pokemon Monster Hunter. Well, Monster Hunter can be challenging. Capcom's no stickler when it comes to difficulty. I am totally okay with Pokemon Monster Hunter, for the record. Actually, it'd be really interesting. I, I know Game Freak is doing Arceus themselves, but I would love to see a lovely little Capcom logo uh, at the bottom when you open up the game and just be like, oh, they did work on it! Wow! Then, then you see FromSoft show up and you're like, oh no. Uh, oh no. And then you see Team Ninja on there, it's like, oh! And then you see Konami on there, oh! But, but, but yeah, you, you see FromSoft in there and you get a little worried, but then you start playing and then, okay, everything seems nice. Yeah, you get your, you, get, you get your, get your you Pokemon. You found it, good. Get your Pokemon and get your, uh, get, you know, everything, everything's all good, get, get all set up. The professor sends you on your way and you're mm -hmm. about ready to go. Mm -hmm. And you think everything's gonna be fine. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, trainer, come here. This is called a bonfire. And oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> Actually, I would kind of love it if you chose your starter Pokemon and within the first town it dies and then you're left with nothing. All right, go back into the wild, asshole. Find yourself a new starter. An update to Pokemon Legends Arceus is now made. Introducing Pokemon Legends Nuzlocke. Oh fuck. <laughs> Have you ever tried a Nuzlocke? I saw no point. And besides, I uh, would probably cheat. Well, then it's I not would, a I Nuzlocke. Would, I would definitely cheat. So there'd be no point in me starting a Nuzlocke challenge because it will either end in failure or end in me saying fuck that and play it normally. It's like, hey, what if I play a Pokemon game but don't play it the way it's supposed to? That should be fun, right? See, I always saw that challenge as, why don't we play a Pokemon game except it's just not fun? Well, if I wanted to do that, I could play black and white! Uh, <laughs> uh, Nuzlocke challenges don't make sense to me. I mean, in the right hands, they can be extremely entertaining. It's just like, oh, hey, this level... I am not the right hands. Th this level three Trico just threw Fire Blast at me. Fuck. Oh, I'm dead. What are you doing? Try and... T t t t grapple beam over to there. Uh huh. To get over there. Yeah. But I can't get over there because over there is hard to get to over there. I want to get <laughs> over there. All right. All right. Loop around. I can save this. Loop around. I can save this. Loop around. Loop around. All right. Let me talk about another game I'm really bad at. Super Metroid. Umihara Kawase. You played that? Yes. 
I have I had no. the uh, I, I had the DS version, uh, Yumi's Odd Odyssey, and I'm like, don't you why? Ah. Her name is Yumi Harakawase, and don't you fucking forget it. You almost it's, had it. You can wall jump that. There's something about the aesthetic of those games that I just adore. The Yumi Harakawase games just they just have this this great kind of comforting hmm. vibe to them. But I cannot, for the life of me, play them at all. Less so than Sekiro. Oh, are they hard games? Have you ever have you ever seen it? Huh. Well, I mean, I've heard of them. I just never knew what kind of game they were. It is a uh, it's a hook it's a hook game. It's a hook and claw game. You got a pathetic jump, but it's a platforming game, and all you have is this claw, and you you can shoot this claw and you know aim, no. in, aim in any direction, and you can pull yourself or let yourself go. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to use like physics. To kind of like wrap yourself around uh, and, get, and get to places, and you can it can either be like really simple and you can play through the whole game, or you can beat it in like three minutes, which I've seen on some speed runs, and they do some ridiculous shit. So I got the DS version, thinking, hey, I can try and do some stuff like that, and it got it wanted me to do something mildly difficult. I couldn't do it, and then worse yet, worse yet, it kept track of how many times I died. Yes. So I'm like, you know, I don't think I need that kind of reminder of failure in my life right now. So I never make, play it again. Make you look a fool. Why would I want to look a fool by playing Umihara Kawase when I can look a fool by playing Super Metroid? I was about to say, that took way too long to get to this point. You know what else took way too long?! Ooh, finding so, out what to do next. Some, something mean, I'm sure. So, something mean related to you and your life, I guess. I, 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 it's Gary! Meow! <laughs> 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 oh, he's, he, Gary's out for blood! Hey, there we go. Save station, we're doing good. Yep. So far, so good. We're just about to fight another mini boss and one of the four lords. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's right. Yep, that is right. Wonder if you're going to show off the fun things about the third lord. There are fun things about the third lord? Mm-hmm. Okay, I, I know the secret uh, thing about the text that just happened there. Do you know the other one? The other one? The third lord has three ways you can kill it. Shooting it a bunch. Shooting it a bunch. Shoot and shooting it a bunch. Uh, then there's the other way. Shine spark. You can shine spark it. There's two. That's a that's a dread thing. You can shine spark like almost every boss. <laughs> one shots them. It's 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 great. Uh, no, there's a special third one. Uh, gotta get there. Oh no! Oh no! Why are you making Boop. me do this? And we're up there. Good job. Uh, space jump, come to me. <laughs> Please! Not yet, baby. We need to beat the third lord. Oh, I'm going to him right now. I need this shit. Ah! <laughs> what are you trying to do? I'm trying to play Super Metroid! Go to the right, for God's I'm sake! I'm trying to play Super Metroid! But all my friends and peers are laughing at me! <laughs> See? I'm not doing it They call me a loser, and they make fun of me <laughs> on my MySpace! I did not call you a loser. They go to Zynga, and they make fun of me, <laughs> and they just they besmirch my name! <laughs> because I can't play Super Metroid correctly. Because <laughs> I never played it! Uh, oh my god. This is so fun. <laughs> I figured you get a kick out of this. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure because yeah I, I I don't know the oh. tricks I watch the speed runs but I, yes. I don't I don't know the location so I can't I don't have too much of a Whoa. I don't have a, too much of a you know a, oh, mock droids I can't, I, can't, I can't recognize the areas I don't have any nostalgia no experience with this compared to the other Metroids any other Metroid game well that's kind of the interesting thing with Super Metroid me I have only played through it and beaten it once but I have seen so many different types of Super Metroid speedruns that I've memorized everything. So I haven't. Well, that's fine. Didn't even know there was a point of no return. What, up here? In in Super Metroid. Oh, yes. I had no idea. Torian. Yes. Don't tell me you went into Torian and you forgot something. I hope not. Okay. Well, uh, this one's... Yeah, I gotta run over here. The, you got your speed there. boost! Uh, yeah, boom, uh, okay. There you go. I forget what this boss's name is. Baddy guy. <laughs> Baggin. Bad dragon. Aw, uh, shoot. 
Anyway, shoot him in the face while I think about his name. Ow, 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 ow. Botwoom. That is his name. Botwoom? Botwoom. Botwoom. Yes. Anyway, I he's, swear they uh, just slam a fist on the keyboard and then that's the name. <laughs> Batoon! Craig, perfect. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the thing about him is he gets faster and faster, but Super Missiles gets rid of him. D immediately. Does he? I didn't notice. Yeah. He also pops his head out, shoots a blast. Very easy mini boss. Kind of stupid. Almost as dumb as Spore Spawn. Almost. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. That's a red herring. Okay, 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 okay. It's and up there, I know. And... Hoopla! Uh, so, and... Gotta do it. And jump. Hoopla! Hoop yeah! Oh, wait, no. I was thinking of something else. Please don't fall in the sand. Please don't fall in the sand. Why would I fall in the sand? There's no Please sand to fall into. do not fall in the sand. There's no sand to fall into. We're safe. It's right down there. It's, it's down there, but we're up here. Please do not fall in the sand. There we go. So you're fine. No sand to fall through. We're almost there. It's okay. We're almost there. It's okay. Yeah. Mock droids. Yeah. Oh. Who created the mock droids, do you think? I think uh, it was the space pirates. Trying to make their own Metroids and failing miserably? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the Metroids that they have, they just kind of had the one on, you know, on hand, and it's kind of, you know, just re reproducing itself. They're trying to make their own Metroids. They, they've been trying to perfect the Metroids. Yeah. You know, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. It's like, how can we make a nuclear bomb more destructive and easier to produce? That's, hmm. that's what they're trying to do. Let's make a Metroid that you can't kill because it's immune to cold. They're trying to do that in Other M. How did that go? Well, that didn't go fucking well at all. In fact, I don't even think they did anything with it because then Adam died and the the, the wing that had that blew up. And so and then BSL was trying to deal with the fucking Metroids. They're trying to do shit. Why the hell are you trying to make Metroids? Because these just failed mock Troids that they made. They made their... I think uh, the Ing and the and the people on on Ether were trying to make Metroids in Metroid Prime 2. Stop making Metroids! <laughs> Stop fucking making Metroids! You walk into a boardroom with an easel and just like, guys, <laughs> right here. It's Metroids are like the NFTs of the galaxy. They're bad. They're bad for the <laughs> for the environment. They're bad for gamers. <laughs> oh my god, this sucks. Ah, oh, there we go. So jump it. No, oh, damn no. it. Uh, hmm? S salvage it, salvage it. Trying, salvage. Trying. So I know I can drop down there. We are almost there. Careful, yes. We are almost there. Yes, we are. Yes, Come we are. on, man. I got it. You got it. You got it. It's a nice couple of nice <laughs> well timed swings. <laughs> yeah. Boy, when they have one they have here in a bit is fucking mean. Yeah. Uh, consider this like your final exam Ow. before they give you a reason to never use grapple beam ever again. Doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't you know that's the, like the worst thing you can do in Super Metroid? Yeah, who wants to get ow, caught ow, in the sand ow, there? Ow, 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 ow. Jump, jump, jump. And it's jump. hot sand, too, I guess. Hot. What is hurting her? Uh, the sand. Why? Well, you know, when sand gets compressed, it gets hard. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. Put a bunch of sand together. But, but, it, but look at it. It's, it's obviously flowing. Grapple beam. It's pulling me down. Grapple beam. Grapple beam. Grapple beam. I don't know if it's because of my control scheme, but it seems that, you know, my, you, my, my, yeah, items, keep, keep, my items keep getting canceled somehow. Yeah, I don't know you why. keep undoing it. I don't know why. I'm, my finger is nowhere near the X button, which is where the cancel is. Oh. You didn't put it on select? No, I put item selection on select. Well, yeah, that's what it should be. Huh. I didn't know X was... Uh... I, I changed it. Oh. Well, it's kind of too late now, so... <laughs> well, yeah. I want to try and keep it as... Uh, as super Metroid-y as possible. the original possible. controls as I could. Yeah. Oh, look, these, these, I don't think these Metroids can even hurt you. No, don't go in there! Why not? There's a safe point above you. I know. We're fine, though. We're watch, fine, though. Watch out for the spikes. We're fine, though. See, look, look how much health Ouch. we have. We, we're, we're, we're so fine. We even got a missile out of it. All right, and that's it. There is nothing else in this room. Mm-hmm. Except for, you know, the thing. Which I think is ridiculous. Most of the cryptic nature of this game is really kind of like, fucking really? Really? Fucking... 
Like, oh yeah, what's down Hello. here? Oh, just the third boss, that's all. Hello. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't nothing, you know. Hi, third boss. I think they're expecting you to use the X-ray scope a lot. So here's Dragon. Ow. Hey, what? Stop. So you know about the Shine Spark. You know about the Shooty Bang Bang. Do you know these? I know that these things spell out Keiko Love. What? Yes. If you look at their pattern, follow what they spell. They spell Keiko Love. Oh, I didn't know about that. I was just talking about the third way to kill Dragon. Because the game developer felt bad about missing his girlfriend's birthday, so he wanted to do something to commemorate that. So he snuck in a little something while he was programming <laughs> the route of those That's things. adorable. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Alright, let go! Let go! No! No! Shake, no, no! Shake! You don't- you don't- Shake! Ow! You, you fucking let shake go! Shake the control pad back and forth. That's what you're supposed to do? Really? Yes! That's how you- I'm trying to shoot it, though! I figured the gun on my arm would probably do something, but- But you're pointing the wrong way! Get the fuck off of me! Get off! Stop it! No! Whoa! Whoa! Alright, will you knock it off? Hi, Chihuahua! Come on! D control out oh, control is, pad. He is really on me. Control pad. Can you see me? I'm moving. I know. Right, it's not enough. This <laughs> guy is just fucking me up. Ow! Oh. Good thing I got a reserve tank. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Here we go again. All right, all right now you're just. Oh, God. Wow, really? All right. I want to go back in time and talk to you. I wish I could have been there to help you. Well, that's that's the thing. I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm not getting help Ow. here. I, I am by myself here. But I can try this way. And get up there. Get up there. You found it. Get, mm, oh wait. Uh, there you go. You found it. You're gonna kill yourself. Now let fucking go of me. All right. So yeah, that's the last way to kill Dragon. Those turrets you can actually destroy with super missiles, I think. And then you can start hurting Dragon from earlier in the room, not just at the bottom. Yeah, like those turret things, you can destroy those. And well, then the way I did it, it worked. One. Yeah. Good job. Oh. I just showed him the Keiko love picture. That's adorable. Hey! No need for grapple beam anymore! Oh, no. All right, now let's talk about... Let me, let me talk a little bit of space jump here. Uh-huh. I got a problem with it. Yeah. It's the first of its kind. It's, it's, it is the first of its kind, so I can't get the timing down quite right as I normally can in any other Metroid mm. game and they find it. Like it, like, it feels like I get a good pattern going down and I think I got it, but when I, figure, when I think I found the pattern, I lose it and I can't recover and I plummet 80 stories. Well, as soon as you lose Space Jump, it's just... It, you're done. You just need that screw attack and you're good to go. Mm-hmm. So I think that's probably all that's- oh wait, no, wait, and you lost it. We're not getting screw attack yet. No, no, that doesn't come till later. Not- no, not, not till a bit later. Soon, but not- but, uh, later. Yeah. By the way, you need to find a place where you won't die. And I realize that you missed the save point. It's fine. There may have also been a energy refill. It's fine. It's all fine. Yes, there is an energy refill right behind there. It's all good, man. It's all good. <laughs> What's good? All of it. Everything. What what you're seeing right now? It's all good, man. This now. is this is the definition of good right here. See? 70 energy, it's all good. <laughs> you know, if you lost one more hit point, it'd be just nice. Nice! Ah nice! It's all nice, man. <laughs> Attorney in law. It's all nice, man. My brother loves me. You're, you seem like an upstanding fellow, Saul Nice Man. <laughs> Would you like a watch? <laughs> oh, it's actually legitimate, huh? Oh, well, didn't see that one coming. That's all nice, man. He's actually a licensed vendor. <laughs> oh, wolf. Wow. Turned his life around. Oh, energy refill. No, go back. We're fine, Grind. dude. We're fine. Grind. We're fine. Ah, uh, I promise you. You are killing me. I promise you, we're fine. You are killing me and Samus. There's nothing to worry about, except for all these things. Ow. I guess there's something to worry about, but don't worry. <laughs> I know you should worry, but don't worry. Uh, uh, all right. All right. Okay. Okay. 20 health left. 21 health. And I know where we're heading. 41 health. 
Oh, please survive. Where do you think we're heading? Plasma beam. You're right. We're getting the plasma beam because it just seems too nice to pass up. There. It's a special room where, in order to get out, you have to kill everything in it, because they want you to test out your new fun beam. Yeah, and it's a fun beam that I like using, so I'll use it and it'll be fun. It kills everything. Yeah, it does. Good, good. <laughs> Duh! It's <a> fucking space <laughs> jump. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Another thing that other Metroids do that Super Metroid doesn't, because uh -huh. it was the first of its kind, uh -huh. is, say I jump. Yep. If I were to to jump on my descent and go forward, I could spin. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. That's an easy way to get your space jump back in if you're accidentally, you know, standing sitting the wrong way. This one's nice, I like that. That's beautiful. And we're doomed. No, we're not. We're fine. So look at that. Just let me, let me pop down here and get the beam. Alright, thank you. Now kill the pirates! Alright, who wants to die? Here we go. Oh, you die first, I guess. Oh, that takes much to kill you guys. It also combines with, uh... Blah, with ice beam. It does. Wait a minute, do you have Spazer back on? I don't think you ever turned it off, actually. Nah. I like Spazer. Hmm. Why does it look like that? I could have sworn it had more, but maybe I'm just thinking of the baseline Spazer. Maybe. Huh. Maybe it gives them a fighting chance. <laughs> Samus finally plays fair. Now, like, I know what's right and what's wrong in this game. I think the the point is just to get through and get the baby Metroid back. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. It just blasted through everything. Yeah, that's nice. And look, I got, an, I got a knee tank left now. <laughs> look, Mommy, I live another day. I'm Super Metroiding like a Metroid <laughs> Superman. <laughs> Super Metroiding, baby. Yeah! Nothing ever goes right. Metroid, Metroid. <laughs> no idea where I'm going. Metroid, Metroid. Help me, I'm scared, Mommy. Metroid, Metroid! <laughs> no! No! No, no, So this no. was me learning about these things for the first time. I'm glad you could see that in real time. Uh, yes! There you are. There I am. And there it is. Uh... God, I hate the sand. The sand is bad, it's terrible, it's awful, I hate it. Ah, oh, yeah. Falling down the sand trap, Metroid, Metroid. I, I got him going, oh no. <laughs> got him going. Get over here! No, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Right. To lead to more sand. Actually, not yet. It's watery sand. What I really am enjoying about this Metroid game, and what's the best about all Metroid games that are good... It's pretty. ...is the environments. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's just so... distinct. What do we have in Metroid 1 and 2? Black screen. 95% of it. Black screen. Black screen. Here we have these intricate backgrounds, and the ones in Zero Mission are incredible, and even though Fusion takes place on a ship, it still looks great. I gotta say, we are so lucky to have the games we have. I think we take that for granted, that these games barely fit on, like, anything, and they manage to get all of this goodness on a cartridge. You're right. I think we'd appreciate them more if they smacked us across the face a couple times. Okay. Dunk! Oh! One more? Uh, yeah, one more. Oh, all right! There we go. Okay, actually, one more, one more. Oh! Maybe the other end was not bad after all. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. oh okay, I'll see you next time on Super Metroid! Oh, jeez. <laughs>